Hey guys, my name is Adam Winrich and this video is about a super hard trick created by Luke Fritz in Australia called Maelstrom. Here's what it looks like. I'd like to give a big shout out to Luke Fritz for helping me learn this routine. He sent me several videos from Australia that helped me learn it. And I'd also like to give a shout out to Danny Shaw in Utah, who also watched those same videos and really helped me break it down, trying to figure out this really cool routine. So now I'm going to break things down for you. We're working on stuff like what you got to learn with one hand, uh, how to put those two parts together in each hand, get both hands going, how to switch lead hands, and then how to do the really tough beginning of this routine. All right, so let's get into it right now, showing you what you need to learn in one hand. There are three essential cracks you're going to want to master when you're working on the maelstrom. Uh, the first one looks like this. That's four cracks of a volley, a Victorian cut back, and then a flick. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the next one looks like this. That's basically sort of an offside Sydney flash, followed by a crack that you roll towards the back. Then you'll sweep it back here for a back crack of the four corners, and then you end with a breakaway. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And the last one is a variation on that one, where instead of doing a breakaway, you'll finish with an arrowhead. So it kind of goes like this. Start out here. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those are three cracks you're going to want to make sure you master before you try doing the maelstrom. So once you've mastered those three cracks in each hand, then you're going to want to figure out how do I put these together and the, the two cracks you're going to combine first will be your sort of volley Victorian cutback combo. And then your sort of offside Sydney flash combo. So we're going to put those two together. And I find one easy way to uh, get into it or develop the skills to put these together is to just start doing your this pattern. The offside Sydney flash combo. And then right after the last track of the Victorian cutback, I'm going to flick this one forward and then do a fast figure eight in time with my sort of offside Sydney flash. So I'll try to show you what I mean. So basically what I'm trying to do is keep the left hand going with a complex pattern while slowly introducing elements of the uh, easier pattern into the routine. So you can see there, I was just adding a flick and then a fast figure eight. And uh, now I'm gonna try to add the flick and the three cracks of the volley. So I'll go like this. And then I'll go ahead and try to add the rest of the cracks 
So again, it's going to go uh, click, then one, two, three, four, five, six. Ending with a click in front. Start here. And now I'll take that same process of uh, sort of slowly introducing elements of the easier routine in the one hand, and um, instead of doing the sort of offside Sydney flash portion, I'm going to do the arrowhead part of the routine, which again looks like this. So we'll start here. that process to try to get uh, both of the routines combined and then once I feel comfortable with it I'm going to try to learn that whole thing in the other hand uh, sort of like this Let's see how you do it ah. that's gonna happen a lot when you're learning this routine That's a little bit about getting the uh, two hands to work together. So once you've learned those two basic two-handed routines on each side, you're going to want to know how to switch lead hands, uh, which is something that only happens once in the routine. And the, basically the idea with changing lead hands, as I see Luke Fritz do it, kind of goes like this, where you're sort of cutting the pattern short on one side. So instead of doing the full pattern here, like that, I'm just gonna cut it uh, short and do only four cracks. It'd be one, two, crack, crack, and sort of a sweep the overhead crack. And then your other hand, instead of doing four cracks of a volley, Victorian cut back and flick, it's just gonna do one fast figure eight, Victorian cut back and a flick. So here, yeah, I'll give that a try. So we'll start out. Do that a couple times. Now, And uh, there's a couple other ways that you can switch lead hands. Um, I'd say one thing you can notice is that sometimes I'll start this out with just two staggered flicks, like that. So that means that I could get into the Queensland crossover, then instead of doing um, say a full blown Queensland crossover, let's do pop pop to stagger a little bit. And then if I can always get back into that routine, if I can switch lead hands in that routine, then I can switch lead hands uh, doing the parts that make up Maelstrom. So together. Time to the crossover, change lead hands. And some basics about changing lead hands in the Maelstrom. So I've been training Maelstrom a lot and I usually find that it's the very beginning, the way that Luke Fritz begins it, that I find is the most difficult. And to roughly try to describe what he's doing, and he's starting out one hand doing the Sydney Flash and that immediately goes into an arrowhead. And then once you're back to boom, this crack here, you're basically into your arrowhead pattern of the Maelstrom. And then the other hand starts with a breakaway and then goes into the pattern we're familiar with in Maelstrom. And it's super hard to get all those cracks. So I've got a few different tricks that I've been doing uh, that are simpler uh, to try to get better at beginning Maelstrom the way Luke does it. The one is just getting used to the Sydney Flash and uh, using it sort of in a fast figure eight setting. So I'll turn to the side and I've worked out this routine. So I'm going to swing one whip back for the Sydney Flash and one whip up 
for a figure eight. see if uh, after I do this part of the Sydney Flash, if I do a fast figure eight and a cattleman's crack in the other hand, that'll set me up to change lead hands to do the um, Sydney Flash in the, excuse me, the opposite hand. So I'll do that a little bit slower. And for me, that's just a nice way to get used to Try and do the Sydney Flash in that type of routine because I don't do it a whole lot. And then after that, I'm trying to uh, get used to starting a breakaway pattern with the Sydney Flash. So the basic sort of um, staggered breakaway pattern would be like this. But now I want to start that with the Sydney Flash. So I'll start it with the Sydney Flash and then I got a little transitional move to get me back to the start again. See, one hand is just doing a fast figure eight. The other one is doing a one, two, three of a volley. So that way I can bowl the hand over again to do the Sydney Clash. And then after I got those two moves down, and I feel confident with those, then I'm going to try to add in sort of this uh, arrowhead cracking part at the beginning and still try to get this crack to break away and get a clean three crack pattern there. So let's give this a try. Ah, and they tangle, and that's why this is the hardest part about it. So sometimes I'll just work on doing some breakaways. And then add an arrowhead in my left hand. needs a little bit uh, more work for me. And once you've gotten more comfortable with the bits and pieces of the maelstrom, then it's fun to mix and match them. And uh, one of the tricks that I really like adding is the four corners in one hand and the Queensland crossover in the other. And it combines really well with the two parts of the maelstrom. Thanks for watching everybody. This was actually a really tough video to make and I hope you enjoyed it. I'd also like to mention if you're interested and you want to support my YouTube channel, I did start a Patreon. I think the basic entry level fee that says five dollars but if you go over there on Patreon, I'll put a link to my Patreon in the description. You can just like enter one dollar a month and then uh, go on my Patreon and request videos. Anyway, my name is Adam Winrich. Thanks for watching.